Good evening. Welcome to The Sacred Journey. The Sacred Journey is the program that reminds you that life is a wonderful adventure and each and every experience we have is a unique and perfect opportunity for learning. I'm Joy St. Germain and tonight's program, Joyfully Nourished, is going to be delicious, at least for me. It will look delicious to you, but it'll be so full of healthy information. I am so pleased to have Kristen Pomeroy. Kristen is a certified raw food chef. Thank you yes. so much for coming to share your knowledge with me. I couldn't wait to get you here and all of your stuff. Thank but, you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Every time I meet you, I am so impressed with the knowledge that you have that I thought I'm learning something every minute that I spend with you. Our viewers have a lot to learn. But let's start with what are raw foods or what is the expression raw foods? Raw food means food in its most natural form, the way it was it came from the earth. So raw vegetables, things that haven't been cooked, frozen, um, baked, you know, nuts that come the way they came from Not nature. Not even roasted. Not roasted, okay. right. Because once you start to cook a food, freeze a food, anything like that, you've now changed the enzymes. It's not got as many vitamins. So to really get the most potent version of those vitamins and enzymes, you want to start with the raw food. So, and not everything I do in my home is raw, but we have something raw every day because if you don't get those nutrients in that way, you're really you're really not doing the best for your body. Okay, and I know that you have a history of someone in your family that had a need, and you told me about some results that were really remarkable. Would you share that story? Yes, sure. So um, I was vegan for a while. Uh, I was very health conscious. I'd been doing it for a while. And my husband, who was eating pizza and nachos and, you know, just enjoying himself and thought that was cute that I was doing my healthy food. Um, he had chronic migraines, chronic sinus infections, upset stomach all the time. And now when I look back on it, I, it's amazing to me. But I remember that we had Pepto-Bismol in the car on the side table of our bed in the bathroom drawer, in the kitchen, in his office. We had Motrin in every room of the house because it was just his way, oh gee, I have a headache again, I'll take some Motrin. Oh, my stomach's upset again, I guess I'll just have some Pepto and I'll be okay. It became his normal. It was normal and, and it, it just, it sort of evolved into normal. So we weren't even, you know, really aware of how bad it had gotten. But the chronic migraines, Finally, he had to go to the doctor. His blood pressure was up. He went to the doctor to find out why these migraines wouldn't go away. She was getting a little bit worried about it, sent him for an MRI, and I, I was getting panicky. And I said, let's just try. Like in all this research that I've done, I'm noticing there are certain triggers for all these things that you have. Maybe we can try something that'll take care of this. And by that point, he was willing to try. And he was willing to Good. try. So I said, let's just try no dairy for two weeks because, and now some people can tolerate dairy just fine and thrive with it. For his body though, that was a trigger for sinus impacting. It, it was creating this impacted sinus situation that was causing these migraines. We didn't realize that at the time, but so we took away the dairy for a few weeks and it was amazing. He stopped needing the Motrin. Um, I said, you the know. migraines disappeared? They did, they did. Um, yeah, so he wasn't needing Motrin every day. He, I said, let's also, and his stomach improved quite a bit. Okay. And I said, why don't we try no wheat also? Cause that is also a trigger for a lot of people. Again, not everybody. You know, I have plenty of friends who can have those things and their bodies function perfectly well, but for him, and I could see that that might have been another trigger for him. So I said, all right, let's try that. So now in our house, my son uh, also was having like being very lethargic and he was 16 at the time. And so I tried that for him as well, the no dairy, no wheat. And he, I didn't even think he had weight to lose. And he immediately just went to this like, you know, Leaned. runner's body. Oh, wow. And, um, 
wasn't as exhausted all the time. It was amazing transformation for both of them. Well, amazing is to get a teenager to not have nachos and yes. whatever, pizza and all that stuff. That's so fantastic. I had to become creative in order for that to happen though. I bet. So making uh, raw food, actually, I went to, I, I took the raw food chef course I went to um, some raw food immersion courses. I took some things online. I, I did a whole bunch of stuff and it helped me come up with some really fun ways to make that work. I make ranch dressing that tastes like ranch dressing out of cashews and spices and apple cider vinegar. And no dairy. No dairy, no wheat. Um, and I've, I've just found ways to make things taste really good that they will eat, that they don't feel like they're missing out and that um, that make their bodies feel good. So it, it's really worked well for our family. Now, my husband and my son both eat meat and that's fine. And I go and I buy the best, you know, free range, humanely raised, no antibiotics, you know, just trying to get the purest version of food the way nature intended it into their bodies so that their bodies can feel as good as they can because they started out with these issues that really affected them, and I just wanted to get their bodies back. Okay, well, I'm very excited to learn about these pieces of equipment, what you can do with them, what you do with them, and I'll have the benefit of taste testing. And then near the end of the show, would you share some tips for our viewers? You and I met for dinner before this to kind of talk about how we were going to plan the show, and we were able to eat pretty healthy by going to a restaurant that has good good ingredients. and. Um, Maybe you'll share some tips toward sure. the end of our show with the fact that you cannot carry this around with you. Right, <laughs> right. Everything I have here tonight is raw, um, but again, not everything I eat at home is raw, but these are just really great ways to have something that your family would enjoy and that it is very healthy. So we can start out with, um, this is what I call a green smoothie. And okay. the reason I call it a green smoothie is I'm adding vegetables right into it. Okay, and so, I'm going to let our viewers know that we're going to be running a kind of a loud, sort of noisy blender. sounding blender. And um, we're gonna apologize in advance for that, but it will be worth it. Okay, so I'm starting out with a banana, which Okay, bananas do have sugar, right, let me grab this and one. some people say, well, that's not healthy. Well, when you're taking a food the way that nature provided it to you, it's mixed with the amount of fiber it needs, the vitamins it needs. You're not sucking it down to only the sugar. It's like not when refined have, in any way. Right. This so is the processed. way a banana came that nature intended it. It's your body knows what to do with this. And I want to add that I always buy organics. And I always buy organics. To so I was pretty sure that you would, but yeah. I wanted to share that with the viewers because they do sometimes process bananas. They pump a gas in them to get them to artificially ripen. And tomatoes. Tomatoes, they do that yeah, with too. A lot ripened. of things that aren't organic, they'll do that because it cuts way down on the shipping. If you think about it, you pick things that are not ripe. Yeah. So they never had the chance to get those vitamins developed. They look good because they pump stuff into them to kind of yeah, so boost organic. them at the end. Organic, yes. So I literally, when I make this myself at home, I don't even measure it. I get the big box of greens, I wash it up, and I keep it in the fridge in the box, and then I just grab a handful. Okay, explain what kind of greens you're talking here. This is um, baby spinach and spring mix. Okay. It's mixed already in the box, already organic. It's pre-washed, but again, I wash it again just to be now, safe. one banana one for banana. this amount of greens and, and then I what just kind do of a serving a size handful. are we talking? Um, this will be, I do a big a big glass for myself, okay. so this will be a good size a good size. Is this glass. a breakfast thing for you? Is this a lunch? Anytime? What is this? This is anytime, but this is great to get out the door in the morning because you, you've got, you know, a boost. The sugar's going to, this um, is organic, unsweetened almond milk. Mm, yum. Now you can make your own almond milk in this. It's very easy. Um, but time consuming and there are organic brands that are great so you don't need to spend the time doing it. Is this it. a blender, a juicer, a, what is this? So this is a high speed blender. This is high an speed. industrial okay. blender. This is a Vitamix but I know my sister has a Blendtec that works great 
any high speed, and I think Nutribullet now makes a high speed. But that's, that's the key, very, high speed, okay. You really want high speed. It should say horsepower, not like turns per minute or something. Okay, it not needs RPM. To, okay. It really <laughs> needs to it. say horse, literally horsepower. Okay. And um, because what you can do with something like this is make, and then I add frozen fruit, um, and that makes it a little bit... Um, thicker too when you add the frozen. It makes it yummier too, I am sure. Yes. So the banana and the fruit are what's going to sweeten it. We didn't add, you know, any kind of cane sugar or anything to the almond milk. The greens are the greens. Um, and you could add just a little bit of greens and more fruit if that's more to your taste. I'm to the at this point, I add mostly greens and a little bit of berries now for myself, but I've gotten used to that. Okay. This is something that the kids will like, um, so this might be loud. That happened in no time. Yeah, this is pretty, and if you leave it, um, if I let it go for like maybe 45 seconds, it wouldn't even have any chunks at all. You okay. could, that wouldn't even have like any. I like texture though. I don't mind texture. The reason I invested in this was my daughter has a real thing about texture. Doesn't like and, it, you mean? And she wouldn't drink the smoothies. So oh, I said, okay. all right, well, let's, and it ended up being the best thing ever because I can make hot marinara sauce. I can make hot soups that are still raw because they get, and this is not plastic. This is carbonate. This is a, really? like a space shuttle material. <laughs> it is. Um, so it's indestructible. You know, you could run over it with a car and it. Now, former art teacher here, I'm going to describe that as a in between brown and. Because I added a lot of greens. So okay. if I had only added a little bit of greens, it would not be this color. But it has a little berry color a to it. A little berry You're color. having some with me? Yes, I'll have some with you. It actually smells good. Cheers. Bon appetit. Yes. Mm. And it's sweet and it's creamy. The banana. Mm, the banana really through. makes it creamy. So again, you could do this with no greens and you would have a really, you know, fresh, healthy, but this yummy is breakfast. breakfast. For you. Yeah. Okay. And it lasts, it sticks with you? Yeah. And see, you're making enough. What I, I love these uh, mason jars. I end up putting the leftovers in that and throw it in my purse. And then it doesn't spill, and it fits in the cup holder in the car, and then I can Perfect. bring it with me, you know, through the day. And I do that with all my, with juices too. I'll make, if you're going to make a mess with the, you know, juicer and take the time to clean it, make a ton of it at once, put it in the jars. You'll have it for today and tomorrow. So this is a lot of work? No, it just, you've got a lot of pulp and stuff and you got to okay. rinse it out afterwards. So you might as well make a bunch of it. This takes two seconds. You rinse it, you put it upside down for a minute and it's done. This okay. is very easy. Um, okay. I really like this. I like it too. It's yeah. green tasting, but not like in a bitter way. It's green tasting like a fresh, healthy way. Yeah. But I happen to love my vegetables and my um, fruits too. So this is really nice. In so we added milk, a lot but. of greens. But again, if somebody was not... It was not wanting as many greens. You could you could head into a lot more fruit and make it more of a fruity smoothie. And this is pretty durable. You won't have to replace this every year. No, oh my goodness. I've had this for two and a half years. I probably use it three or four times a day, literally. A day, okay. A day. Uh, everything goes in this. And the only and part you have to clean is this? Yep, I just pick it up, rinse it out, and okay. then it's fine. I'm impressed. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is my travel blender. And the reason I got this is because I got so used to having my blender. And when we travel, I'm lost without my blender because this is such a great way to get fast, super potent, awesome stuff into your body. So and you take this in your suitcase? I do because I it comes it. apart and this fits in one little crevice. This is hollow. You can stick something in there and then wash it when you get there. I'm looking at the blades. This is not carry-on stuff. This is checked luggage? Nope. 
I put this in my carry-on. Yes. I never check luggage. Knitting. Nope. I only ever bring a uh, Okay, we a won't carry. talk about the TSA <laughs> implications of um, that. Nope, they've never said okay. anything about it, actually. I mean, I think they can tell what it is. And why you would have it, especially if you're bringing this part I've, to them. Yeah, I've never had a problem. So anyway, um, I spent 10 days in Alaska in an RV with my son. Wow. And who, again, at the time was 16, and he's six foot two. And he's not going to be able to be having, um, you know, wimpy little things. Well, this for me is not wimpy. But for a 16-year-old big kid, um, he needed something really sure. potent. And so each morning for breakfast, because um, we were hiking mountains and we were, you know, zip lining and doing all that kind of stuff, I made him a very fattening uh, almond butter cocoa powder. Now, this is organic non-GMO cocoa powder with nothing added to it. So there's no sugar, there's no, um, and so you're getting a ton of antioxidants in this and you're just, you're getting a lot of great stuff. Without, and great flavor too. And though. great yeah. flavor, right. So the cocoa powder adds a lot and if you're not getting a processed cocoa powder, I mean it's processed because they had to make it into powder, but it doesn't have sugar and all extra. Do you, you make know. your own nut butters? Um, I do. You can do those in here, too. Um, but again, you can get organic butters that are raw almonds, and there's nothing else. They've not been cooked or anything. Yep, and you just have to be careful reading your labels wherever you go. You just read the labels because you'll think something, it'll say organic, and then you'll look and it'll have palm oil, cashews, and, and cane sugar. And you yeah. thought you were getting the best thing, so just always read the labels and you'll be in good shape. So this is what I made him almost every morning um, while we were on our trip, and it worked really well. Kids can do well. this in a dorm. Yes, and my daughter... I can't, maybe yep. not this and this, and we've got oh, enough time, I think, that we might get to see this. Yeah, it's... and I'll just I'll go okay. over that real quick if sure. we... But we're doing fine. So, so this is very easy, but again, you can travel with this and... We just have gotten used to, you know, we go to the grocery store first thing when we get somewhere and we have our own stuff. Um, so then this. Now, I could drink this whole thing. I'm going to not. I'm going to, okay. we'll you put know, this over demonstrate it. Well, no, I don't want it too far away. <laughs> I'm going to just demonstrate a little restraint so I can try all of these. But it's that good. And it hasn't done that icky separation thing that sometimes they do right away. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, well, yeah. I've, I've had good luck with um, this blender. I just can't say enough about it. But again, there are lots of great brands. You just want high speed. So it's it's really blending them and breaking everything down. Okay, now, um, our viewers are going to get your website info at the end of the show, so they can go on and you have, and I know it's under construction, but your vision is to have recipes and tips and, and classes and information. Why, why did I put greens and strawberries? What does a strawberry have in it that's so important? I put under each ingredient oh, why wow. you care about that ingredient. What's so good about Fantastic. it? Fantastic. Cheers again. Cheers. So this is more like a milkshake. This is like dessert. It is like dessert. But again, everything oh. that went into it was raw. It was the way it came. You can buy raw organic cocoa and you can buy raw organic almond butter. You can make your own almond butter. The bananas make it sweet, creamy. They have potassium, so you're not gonna get dehydrated when you're out hiking all day. You know, so it's, oh, this, is this is a potent, awesome breakfast for my teenage son that he would, and actually we had a couple other kids on the trip that said, will you make me one of those too? You know, so. I can see why, really good. So this is just a really great thing to have to make it easy for you when you're traveling because that's traveling and as you said, restaurants make it tricky. You wanna be part of life and going out and doing things and having fun. And when you're you know, restricted by certain things you can't have, you kind of have to bring it along with you, and this just makes it so much easier for And me. when we went out, to, um, you and I, when we met at the restaurant, it was funny because we each got a salad, but you had certain things added. I had different things added. You had added certain and things subtracted. excluded. I had certain <laughs> things excluded. 
And we ended right. up with delicious and healthy things that suit each of us. Right. And sometimes I quick make a dressing for myself at home, and then I just bring it in a little jar and get a plain What's salad. What's a quick, easy favorite dressing of yours? So I do uh, cashews with milk. Raw uh, cashews, of course. Raw cashews okay. with a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. And then uh, spices, I use adobo seasoning and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of garlic. And I mean, I already have these things. See, I've gotten used to having these things readily in my refrigerator. So throw them in, blend it, throw it in a jar and go. It's literally two minutes. Fantastic. So, okay, we right. have a little less than five minutes. Okay, so this is juice. So what's the difference between juice and a smoothie? If you, especially if you were healing from something, if you were, you feel like you're maybe a cold's coming on or something, juice is gonna be the most potent form of the vegetable and fruit with nothing blocking it, right? No fiber or anything else for your body to work through. This is just gonna almost be like a little blood transfusion, right? It's just gonna go right in. On wow. a, you do it on okay. an empty stomach in the morning. But again, what I do is I make a huge batch of it. I line up my, uh, line up my mason jars on the counter and I just fill them, screw the tops on, put them in the fridge, then I have them for that day and the next day. After 24 hours, they're not gonna be as awesome, but you could be having them throughout the day if you're feeling like you're not. So you're not peeling the fruit? I nope. mean the veggies. Nope, you don't need to peel the vegetables. All right. So this is gonna be loud again. And tell our viewers what you're putting in. So this is um, a cucumber. I've got two large cucumbers that I actually cut in half. One head of celery, half a lemon. A Not big, with the peel. Yep. A big chunk of ginger, because mm. ginger and lemon are very good or antibacterial. Um, <clears throat> and for this, I'm gonna add an apple. But if you wanted it to be more potent, again, like you feel something coming on and you just wanna kick it out before it even gets to you, I would replace this with um, two cloves of garlic. Okay, so, I'm allergic to garlic and onion, and they're in the same family, so I guess there's a reason for that. So yeah, I so, like the process and the ingredients here. And this is very healthy, this is great. And the very minimal sugar, um, just the amount in the apple. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's very fast. <laughs> And there's a lot of juice coming out of that, even though we put I'm it in whole. I'm done at the whole apple, yep. the whole lemon. Everything. And then the ginger. Okay. Wow. So this is extremely refreshing, at least I feel. It's so refreshing, you feel great. Um, it's going to have quite a vitamin boost. And again, my recipes, like I said, I put exactly what it is about a cucumber that makes it um, so oh healthy. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that smell great? <laughs> it's it amazing. smells like you're, you're a spring day or you're outside. Oh, the lemon and the ginger. Wow. Mm -hmm. Such a different texture because there's no thickness to it. Right. It's just juice. And it's vegetable juice, but it's it's not. It doesn't taste vegetable-y. I think it just tastes very fresh. It does. I'm stunned. I always looked at those and went, "Oh, what a gimmick! There's so much money and it's so much work." And are you kidding me? Well, incredible. If so, this is now filled with the pulp. Can you do anything with it? Um, I have a dehydrator, which again keeps it raw because you keep it at a, the degree that it will not. It'll dry everything out, but it won't cook it. So you could make crackers, you could add spices to this. What I'd probably do is pull out just the vegetables, I wouldn't have done the apple. Um, pull it out before I added the apple and, and, the core and mix and the, some, okay. yeah, and then just mix some uh, spices into it, a little bit of salt, make little balls, put them in the dehydrator and you'd have little crackers. Okay, fantastic. Well, I am blown away by your knowledge and so much useful information and I have gained a new respect producers and blenders and bullets and most of us have like an ordinary blender in our kitchen 
that is going to change. So thanks so much for joining us. Will you come back again another time? And I'd love to. We'll, okay, yeah. and we'll do something else and use your knowledge and taste some delicious things. So thanks for joining us on The Sacred Journey. We'll see you next time.